Hello, hello! The next vlog begins where the other one ends! Um, I'm now going to import all that footage and edit the vlog. It's about to hit 24 hours and I have a pretty radical headache. I don't get a lot of headaches. They're very rare for me. Um, which is, I'm not complaining. Thank you very much, body. Um, but I have a pretty radical headache back here. Right at the base of my neck, it feels like it's like pinching. And it's like a dull ache, um, but it's not fun. And then I feel like it's radiating like up into here. So um, I feel like it's vaccine related and not my lack of sleep related because I don't super get headaches. Just even if I've had a lack of sleep, I feel like I don't get headaches. I did take some Tylenol, but that was a while ago now. So I don't know, I'm feeling like it's definitely vaccine related. Again, if this is like the worst thing that happens for me getting my second dose, because my mom had like entire flu-like symptoms. She had a fever, she had chills, she had a headache. Like, So if this is the worst I get, that's fine. Um, my arm is still a bit sore, but I feel like I can't tell that now because of my headache. I'm still editing the vlog, but I think after I edit the vlog, I might take like a little break and like close my eyes for a little bit. Maybe like ice my head or something. Um, but I am having a headache, so I feel like that's probably Good morning, it is Thursday. I'm feeling tired and I think it might be because of how I slept this time, like for real. Um, my arm is still sore though, so it could be vaccine related, but um, my neck feels way better yesterday, like last night. My neck started to hurt really bad, like muscly, which was giving me a really bad headache, which was very uncomfortable, so. Um, my interview is today, it's at noon, and it's 8.43 right now, so I got in the shower as early as I could, so I could hopefully, um, have dry hair because I don't want to blow dry my hair. Okay, I'm ready and I'm leaving for my interview. I want to be there early, so I'm leaving now. I'll do a fit check afterwards, but I'm just wearing black slacks. It's a very cute top by itself, but then I added this blue blazer. It looks a little crumply, umply, and I put on a puppy necklace, cause come on! Okay, so. Wish me luck. I'm gonna try and reverse this one because I don't wanna wear one that has a design on it. You know? See how this looks reversed. Does it look like a nice black mask? with the outfit yes it does it went uh really well obviously uh, i went in yeah, there at I was 11 thinking it must be going really well if you're still there i went in there at 11 45 and it's 150. oh my god um it went really well so i'm sure i put in some of the conversation i had with my mom or something but i figured i'd come on and talk directly to you guys i did have a good interview i was there for two hours i got there early i did my little hype up moment and then i went in and they did see me early so it took a minute but i feel like the interview still started before just before noon and i didn't leave the building until 1 50. we sat there we she talked a little bit about stuff and then she talked to me like we did like an interview actual portion she asked me you know um about like a job I had where I juggled a lot and I had a lot to do, you know, kind of like a stressful situation and what I did and maybe where I dealt with like customers and stuff like that. So I talked about when I made my film uh, and then after she asked if you can't have any of this, he wants, he wants this. How about you lay down? lay down and I'll think about it. Then she asked if I had questions for her and I asked basic things. I was like, okay, I have like, you know, the superficial, I don't know if superficial is the right word, but that I, or the word I used, 
But I said I have the basic questions like, what's the typical schedule like? What specific, because they had many job openings. I was like, which job are you thinking of me for? And then, you know, salary, stuff like that. She had no problem meeting my salary requirement. And then she also um, is thinking of me for the position that I figured I would be best fit for. And, no! Kona Makani, you are being naughty. I haven't even had a bite yet. I asked her what her ideal candidate was after that, and then I asked um, how they foster a healthy work environment. And then she said something in her ideal candidate about someone who's always willing to learn and grow. And I said, oh, well, I'm always looking for my next mentor because I love to continuously learn and grow. And I think I can learn something from everybody, especially people who have like are old, like wiser than me in certain areas and stuff. And she got goosebumps when I said I was looking for my next mentor. So that was fire. But then after that, all of her kids, they, they've lived in Wakanda for like, eight, you know, 20 years and all of their kids went to the Wakanda school system. I was born and raised in Wakanda, so we talked about, I'm older than all of her children. We talked about the Wakanda school system for like a long time and then I left. I did it. I ate, Kona was walked, I changed into more comfortable clothes. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, she doesn't want you to quit. <laughs> oh, I think your dad's calling you. What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Um, I'm editing this morning before I have to go back for like that second interview where I'm meeting the husband. Um, I it is oops. It is currently 10 a.m. My meeting interview thing is at 12.30, so I have plenty of time to be working on what I'm working on right now. I'm working on a found video of Way Down Cellar, if you didn't catch that right there just then. Um, and I'm excited because Max gave me some like tips and pointers on things to maybe attempt to do. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and do those things. I'm sitting outside my second interview at my potential new job um I'm way early I wanted to be 15 minutes early because like you know that's the but I'm 10 minutes earlier than 15 minutes early so I'm gonna sit in my car for a minute she's an employee I got hired uh they the second interview um the man who owns the business asked me some questions and then they were like, do you want to do a shadow interview right now? And I was like, okay, sure. And it basically was just giving me a tour of the facility and then, um, <clears throat> they were like, okay, we need to send you an email with getting a background check. Your girl is hired. What you doing? What you doing? Come, come. Come, come. Come, come. Oh, what a beautiful boy you are. He's beautiful. So I just finished working and Mariah walks into my room. <laughs> Did you unpack Kona's food? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she said, let there be cauldron. Dabba dabba to island to rabba. Ooh, cool. We're doing mash. <laughs> mash. Oh, you, it was probably after your high school time. Did you ever do mash with friends? We write mash at the top, and then you do job, car, husband, salary, kids, death. And mash stands for mansion, apartment, shack, or house. <laughs> and then it's like you 
you say, okay, go, and then you start making dashes, and they, like, tell you when to stop, and then you count how many dashes, and then you just start counting through, and when you hit that number, you cross that one out, so then when there's one left of every category, you say, okay, you're gonna live in a shack, but have make a million dollars a year, <laughs> but, like, it's fun. Focus, there we go. Um, we don't remember all the categories we used to do in high school, so... Hi! Those are the ones we're doing. Need to come up here? Come on. Now has my pussy tweet. Come on. Oh, I can't see you all the way. I thought I couldn't see your head. <laughs> nice. Okay, are you ready for your mash life? Okay. Are you ready for Mariah's mash life? Okay. You are going to live in a mansion. Oh, hey. <laughs> and you're going to be a stay-at-home mom. Hello. We're driving an expedition. All right. You're married to a Tinder loser. <laughs> but you live in Hawaii. <laughs> okay. And you make a hundred thousand dollars a year by being a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> and you have three kids. <laughs> And you live until you're 90. <laughs> so, like, you know, pretty good, except for the Tinder loser husband. It's okay, I can divorce him and find another. Well, you make $100,000 a year being a stay-at-home mom, so, like, good for you. That's probably what happened then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. So, here's Jessica's mash results. You're going to live in a shack. You're gonna be a pooper scooper. Oh! <laughs> but you're gonna drive a crossover okay. and be married to Keanu Reeves. Hell yeah! <laughs> but you're gonna live in Russia, but make a million dollars. And you'll what? have five kids and you'll die at the nice age of 83. What a mixed bag. It must be a very nice shack. And it obviously is the most luxurious. Pooper scooping job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, this must be the nicest shack of all time because <laughs> Keanu Reeves' money makes with my money? Are we kidding? <laughs> must be just like a really nice shack, you know? It's some bougie ass poop. <laughs> it's, like, it's Putin's dog's poop. <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday. And uh, I have to take maternity photos today. An hour and away, an hour and away, an hour and a half away from my house, so I have to leave at like 12.30 because the pictures are, we are meeting at two. So, um, I am gonna work on a patron request for as long as I can until I have to start getting ready and then leave for that. Okay, I am heading out to go to an hour and a half away to take some maternity pictures. Um, I've got a backpack and I got my camera in it. It's my rainbow baby. Uh, I got my camera in it. So, I just finished taking pictures with, uh, I think she'll be fine with me saying her name, but the mother to be. And um, it was about two hours, which is pretty standard for a typical normal photo shoot. And it was beautiful, and then it started raining right at the end, which is insane because it couldn't have been more perfectly timed. And I'm so excited to go look at the pictures on the computer and deal with those. But I just called Haley to see if she wanted me to stop by and say, hey, but she didn't answer. So, I don't know. I just gave food to a homeless man, I think. I, have a t I had a ton of snacks and stuff in this bag from when I worked at the photography company, so. And now I'm at Hailing Christians. Surprise! So I'm gonna go in. Hi. Hey, baby. Hi. What's good? What's good? Haley's down the hall. <laughs> I know she hates to be on camera, so I try not to film her. <laughs> but I also think she's very torn between FOMO and not wanting to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I stopped to see Hailing Christians. Nice. And we're gonna go to Best Buy. Yeah. Oingy noingy. Yeah. Wow, what a bonus treat. Okay. I, it is 8 p.m. I am leaving Haley and Christians. I am tired and hungry. I'm thinking I'll grab Taco Bell 
in Wakanda. Oh, I don't need that. No, that's not my old phone. Um, I'm thinking I'll grab Taco Bell in Wakanda and eat, so it's gonna be a while before I grab something. But I just wanted to get home. I don't want to stay. We we talked about me staying for dinner, but then we got to talking, so then it like pushed it an hour again, and I was like, no, it's gonna take me an hour and ten minutes to get home. I don't want to. I don't want to eat here and then take another hour and 10 minutes to get home. So we are headed and I'll just grab something. I can't do the one handed like some people. I'm so talented to do one hand all the way around. I'm a big lady. Um, anyway, uh, it was so good to see Haley and Christian. That was awesome. And the kitties. And now I'm gonna go home. Chocolate chip banana bread. I don't know what else to have for breakfast. I'm gonna try and staple my, oh, I have to cut out my passport picture. Staple it to the Renew Passport stuff. Good enough. There she is. Perfect. I just dusted and vacuumed my room and I put new sheets on my bed. Things aren't feeling good in here. I have all that filing away so my desk is like the clearest it's been in forever, which is nuts. Um, and now I'm gonna go fix my bookshelf. My bookshelf has a... Uh... My bookshelf somehow like fell or something and I have extra of the little tab guy. So I'm gonna go take a look at what's going on in there and fix the second shelf of my bookshelf. And then from there, I don't know. I don't know where to put you so you have the best view. I also don't need these over here while I keep wearing them on accident. But it's this middle shelf here, here, this one. Um, that is falling apart. Oh, hey, a bookmark. Did I start reading Winnie the Pooh? When did I do that? Whatever, anyway. I remove all the books. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Where did? So we have peg, 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 and oh, that one broke all the way off. Uh oh. How am I gonna? Oh my god. I feel like I have to go get the tube vacuum. Oh look, it broke off right here. Okay, good. I thought this wasn't gonna work very nicely, but it's working fabulously. Oh, oh, that is very satisfying. Hang on. Don't judge me, okay? I don't need the judgment. Give me, give me, give me, give me in there. Oh, that's, oh, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. It's bath day for Kona. We're locked and loaded. It's Monday. And I have an hour exactly until therapy, so I'm gonna, I think, separate the photos that Maddie really likes into their folder and maybe start editing those. I had therapy, I watched The Straight Story, I had some lunch, I took Kona outside, and it is in the 70s today. It is stunning out, I just came up and opened my windows super wide to get some fresh air in here. It feels so good. And now I'm going to watch the 13th year. I am so excited to watch this.
I at my mom's. I've been at my mom's for a while now, actually. I'm getting ready to film. Today I'm filming the straight story in the 13th year. I'm very excited. Um, but I just got really hungry because I watched a bunch of food TikToks, so I'm going to go grab a snack. And now I don't know what's going to happen because I don't know if my mom is still over scooping or what. So I might read my book or something. We'll see. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Here's something I can say. I cannot believe that I've been weekly vlogging for this long. I feel like it's been super successful. Who else? Anybody else super happy and impressed? Not that that's not me searching for praise. I'm just like shooketh that I've been able to fracking. No. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm shooketh that I've been able to weekly vlog this many weeks. I feel like it's like eight or nine weeks now. It's, get, it's obviously getting very normal. That's everything for this weekly vlog. See you guys next week. Bye! <gasps> A visit! Hi! Who's cute? So handsome. This is a knife. I've wanted one for years.